Hi, today I want to look at creating polyrhythms in Ableton Live. Um, so a polyrhythm uh, is described as having two or more different subdivisions of your meter um, overlapping. So for example, we might be used to subdivisions of uh, quarters and eighths and sixteenths, but having um, subdivisions of three are quite common as well. Less common ones are things like five, um, nine, eleven, uh, thirteen, etc. like that. Let's have a look at a very simple example. I've just got five analogs here. Um, and polyrhythms are actually really easy to do in session mode. When we create a new clip, we can truncate the length of that loop. Uh, most people might be familiar with um, making it longer, but there's no reason why we can't make it shorter too. Um, so what I've done here with the first note is I've just created, uh, let me just turn the delay off, what I've uh, just created a, um, a, a low C and as you can see there I've got my resolution set to 16 so we've got 4 16th um, uh, duration for the loop so that will repeat um, on each beat of the buff put the metronome on you can hear what it's doing so nothing particularly surprising there um, I've used some less common um, divisions with this I've got um, uh, 5 16th so um, as you can see, two, three, four, five, and we've got a different note here. So if I put the metronome on, it'll only catch up with itself after a much longer period of time. We've got nine over 16 here as well. So just over half a bar. And we've got three over 16, which is, if I put the metronome on, something people might be familiar with hearing. And lastly, we've got uh, three eighths. Now you could describe three eighths as um, six over 16, but it's much easier to divide that number down to the um, simplest fraction like you might have done in maths at school. Um, so each of these have a different note from the um, C pentatonic, C major pentatonic scale, I should say. And if we um, bring them in one by one, course um, what you can do is experiment with the volumes which will create um, accents you know we could have um, if you just sort of randomly we could also pan these around as well if we wanted to I'm not going to pan them too much because why and then of course as you might have heard earlier with some delay going to sound pretty awesome. So that's the first thing I want to have a look at. Um, but what we can actually do is we can use this to make some quite interesting um, sort of drum patterns. So what I'm going to do uh, to start off with is I'm going to, uh, as you can see here, I've got um, Live's basic 707 kit. I'm going to create um, four MIDI tracks. You can create as many as you want um, for as many different drum sounds as you want. And I'm going to use that same um, polyrhythm idea to actually trigger the drums. Uh, so first let's start naming these. I'll use a kick, a clap, a closed hat and an open hat. Um, the first thing I want to do is root these uh, MIDI tracks. So I'm going to shift select and root them to our drums. Now um, you won't hear anything. Uh, you can see MIDI's coming in so we need to change the monitor to in. Okay, so let's start off with our kick drum um, and we'll just do a simple kick on each beat of the bar, nothing special. Let's shorten the loop to uh, 4 sixteenths and I'm going to create a kick. I'm actually going to um, drag it for that whole duration because what we can do is we can start experimenting with MIDI effects as well. Let's drag on the arpeggiator and change it to a rate of sixteenths. don't think the gate matters too much for drum sounds. Uh, and I'm going to use my key commands to switch the arpeggio to on and off with the number one. Um, so off. We can get a kind of Blue Monday type thing there. Um, with the clap, let's use um, five sixteenths, but we don't have to start the clap on, um, on beat one. We can actually offset it for some kind of interesting sounds. Uh, so if we play those together, Very nice. 
Uh, let's add in some closed hats. I'm going to um, do some things that are fairly ordinary, um, but then I'm going to stop it at uh, what's that? Um, five, six, seven sixteenths. Uh, and let's just take these offbeat ones and just drop their velocity a little bit. Uh, if you want to experiment even further with velocity, the velocity plugin has got this uh, cool uh, randomized feature as well. Um, now, what's great about um, drum machines uh, often is that their open and closed hats will be uh, uh, choke each other. So um, let's go for a, a longer duration this time as well. And we'll just add in some open hats um, here and here, and we'll see how those sound together. Okay, so um, if we put that all together, we've got something like this. Let's record that. Okay, so we've got four bars there, we can crop that. Uh, in order to hear that, um, we need to set our monitor back to auto. And we can go in there and we can do whatever we want to this. Um, where it gets slightly more interesting is if we uh, use some non-traditional drum sounds. So I've got some odds and sods from a minimal techno kit by Sample Magic here. Um, what's even kind of more interesting about some of these hits is that their transients aren't always... Um, like bang on the beginning as you can see with this kind of very low frequency sound it comes in in the middle um, now if we experiment with some swing we can get some interesting sounds great uh, so that's it I'll be expanding on MIDI resampling um, at a later date uh, if you've got any questions please leave them in the comments thanks very much